Hey everybody, it's Neil and Annalise, and we are going to talk about the Napa Valley Distillery and do some tastings. So the Napa Valley Distillery is here in lovely Napa Valley, California. It was established in 2009. It's family run and owned, and they're a very, very small distillery, and they do cordials, rums, brandy, gin, vodka, whiskey, bourbon, and a bunch of other stuff. We have a link to their website below. You can become a member and they will ship to you. So that's really cool. And their stuff is freaking amazing. So we're gonna do a bunch of different tastings. We're not like whiskey or alcohol professionals, especially if you've seen some of our other videos where we do tastings. <laughs> so this is just for fun. If you're looking for like a lot of hardcore, real, like, oh, I know what I'm talking about information, you're on the wrong channel. But if you wanna have fun and watch us drink stuff, you're at the right channel. Yay. <laughs> Let's drink. <laughs> Today we're gonna taste the Panama Rye. So Panama Rye is made from a whiskey that hasn't been made for over a hundred years. Okay, I'm gonna actually read this part because there's no way I'm gonna memorize it and drink bourbon whiskey at the same time. So the founder Arthur found an old government issue inventory form from a product made by the Napa Valley Wine Company and Distillery before prohibition, and that inspired the Napa Valley Distillery to try to make their own. 95% rye in the mash, Aged over two years, it makes it a straight rye whiskey. And then it's finished in late Napa Valley Harvest Chardonnay barrels for six months, I think. Don't say I think. <laughs> yeah, I was right. <laughs> All right, let's taste it. Annalise, what is your feelings on rye whiskey and bourbons to begin with? I don't like it. <laughs> Good thing we're members. <laughs> to be fair, um, I have only started drinking in the last like 10 years of my life and so um, I'm not as knowledgeable and um, educated as I could be about rye and whiskeys and things like that. I'm still in the baby phase, baby tasting phase and uh, that sounds gross. Um, but I am going to try. We'll see how it goes. Here's a freebie for you. I'm not knowledgeable either. <laughs> and go ahead and use that however you want. And I'm just learning about rye and whiskeys myself. And again, I just want to drink it. And I've been drinking my whole life. It smells really good. It has a very mild scent to it. Like it's not, you know, I'm sure we've all smelled a whiskey or two that you take a whiff and you're like, whoa, it's not like that. <laughs> now there is a proper way to drink mm -hmm. and to sip whiskey. It's all in the breathing and where you hold it and mm -hmm. when you inhale and exhale. And I forget how to do it every time. So I'm just gonna try it. Okay. I believe it's you take a deep breath. Put this in your mouth and then, and then breathe you over through. Then you breathe like out. He it. told us. Yeah. We were listening. Okay. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Very good. <laughs> Smooth. It's actually, um, from what I've tasted, it's actually quite smooth. Yeah. It's got a very peppery taste to it, but it does have that interesting buttery finish at the end from the Chardonnay barrels. I would say. It doesn't have a bitey end at all and a really nice aftertaste. I agree. Very With smooth. All that. It's, uh, again, a lot smoother than anything I've ever tasted, as well as there's a little, um, I don't, it's not a bite, but it's more of a sharp flavor in the beginning, Zero and then it's it. smooth is out. Very good. But I, this is one of those, I think, that could get me to drink more of it. <laughs> Let's do it. Oh! <laughs> all right, everybody, thanks so much for checking it out. There's your uh, Panama Rye oh. Napa Village, nope. There's your Panama Rye Napa Valley Distillery Whiskey. Thanks.